guys. No, I didn't cut all my hair off. It's uh, actually just pulled back for the time being. It's still quite long and it's quite warm outside still. So I've been pulling my hair back during the day. It's a little frizzy. Humidity is cruel to people of Irish descent. Um, don't mind that noise. That's probably my husband t um, texting me on a break or something from work. Um, Ramayas is usually at work in the evenings, whereas I work daily, daylight shift as a teacher. Um, but that's not the point of this video. This video is something that I've been wanting to do for a very long time. Um, I am bipolar 1, and it is very difficult some days to even get out of bed. I know what some of you are thinking, it's in your head, get over it. What a lot of people don't realize is that bipolar and other mental illnesses can manifest themselves as physical symptoms. Um, there are times where my stomach just will not hold anything down and I'm constantly sick um, that way, or I'm just so exhausted I can't even move. And then there are some days it's just not safe for me to make the 45 minute commute to work because things aren't right in my brain. I was um, diagnosed when I was a teenager and at first they diagnosed me as major depressive disorder. So that was interesting. Um, they kind of treated me for the wrong thing at first but now it's better. I'm back on treatment after not being for very 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 long. I was being treated when I was a teenager, but as soon as I aged out of my parents' insurance, I couldn't afford visits to the doctor anymore. I couldn't afford my medication anymore, so I really had to learn how to cope. And I did that by throwing myself headlong into a full-time job and 18-plus credit hours of schoolwork at college. And I think that's the only way I got through it. I just literally kept myself so busy that I would exhaust myself to sleep. Not necessarily be tired, just exhaust myself to sleep. Um, but a couple years ago, it really started getting out of control again after my eldest brother was murdered. I'm still not handling the loss of my brother very well at all. I'm struggling day to day to deal with not having closure because the guy that did it, yes, he's sitting in jail, but he never told us why he did it. And that's the one thing we want to know. Why would you take away somebody that loves life so much as my brother did? So dealing with the grief from that compounded with dealing still dealing with the grief of my dad who had died a couple of lung cancer a couple years beforehand I was just in overload I was starting a new job it was my first full year teaching in my own classroom instead of substitute teaching and I just really struggled um, so I went back into treatment and therapy and trying to find <laughs> the worst part about being mentally ill is trying to find the medication combinations that work perfectly fine for you. Some are going to make you sick to your stomach, some are going to make you a zombie, and that's what a lot of them did to me. They made me, like, falling asleep in my car to work, kind of. I got there on autopilot and got home on autopilot. I don't remember chunks of time just because everything was so blah. And it took, it's taken me two and a half years just to be able to sort most of that out. And yes, it does not look good for a teacher to be that sick all the time, especially when you're a fairly new teacher. But I had to take care of me first before I could take care of others. And I try to keep it on the down low of my bipolar at work, and that's why I hesitated for many years to even begin to blog or vlog about my bipolar experience just because honestly I'm ashamed of it I am absolutely positively ashamed that I can't function like a normal person some days I'm not deathly ill but some days it feels like I might as well be and I don't think people realize the toll that that can take on your body after a while 
and your mind just keep thinking nobody cares, nobody cares, so on and so forth. I, I can plug through this. I just got to suck it up, put on my big girl pants and go about my day. And there were many days where doing that was all I could do. Surviving one more day is all I could do. So, yeah, it, it was really difficult a lot of the time to have to just suck it up and deal, sorry about that, deal with my daily life. Um, Thor, stop playing with that, honey. Stop. She's being cute. And there she goes. <laughs> but, um, it was just a struggle from day to day, adjusting to teaching and dealing with like two times the grief for two different people was really difficult trying to get my family through that and I was afraid to show any weakness I I was afraid I was ashamed and I don't think that's fair for other people to feel that but for me it was perfectly fine to feel that way and that's I know just the illness speaking to me. Um, I hear in my, not necessarily voices, I call it my laugh track. Um, just things kind of like people throwing horrible things to say at me over the course of my life and like spaghetti, some of it stuck at the wall of life and just whenever I get really down and depressed or even super, super manic things just run through my head and being depressed or super manic amplifies that feeling of just depression and worthlessness and I honestly admire my husband I don't know how he's put up with it for this long a lot of people have opted not to be part of my life because of my bipolar and how that has created me it's very much part of my personality and I'm a super anxious person which is why I'm surprised I'm actually even doing this at all with Ramayas because it's difficult to work up the courage to do this let alone work it up when you have an anxiety disorder that sprouts from you being bipolar. I'm not saying that it's worse for me than it is for anybody else. I'm not trying to say that at all. It's just, I don't think people with mental illnesses should have to feel like they have to justify their illness. You don't ask a person who has a terminal disease to justify it for you, do you? Well, in a way, this is kind of a terminal disease. It's not going to kill me unless I be, you know unless I do anything to myself, which I never plan on doing at this point. Um, today's a manic day, if you can't tell. Um, and it's just really something I've been wanting to talk about for a very long time, and you guys will probably see videos about it from time to time, so if you have any questions or concerns or want me to talk about something important that to you related to your concerns with mental illness, put it down below put it down below please and maybe we'll feature your comments in a future video um, we're looking forward to continue building the channel and we hope you guys decide to come along for a wild ride and enjoy our crazy life with us every step of the way thanks guys for watching bye bye